he's vulnerable internally for like the first time in his life. He, 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 you know, is this kid his biological son? And is that true? Is it not? But at the same time, he's fighting uh, to keep control, to keep control of his image. Omar, I'll start with you. Obviously, we're so excited that Raising Canyon is back. Now, the audience is unclear about what your character Malcolm's fate is going to be. We don't know if he's really dead or alive. But, you know, the power universe is infamous for using soap opera methods and bringing back characters, whether we thought they were dead or not, um, or continue to use them via flashbacks. So what can you at least tease us about how what Kan what Kanan did in season one, how that will impact his journey in season two? Well, I mean, Kanan shot Howard, so <laughs> there is that. Uh, but going into season two, it's 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 um, for Howard. He he uh, he's vulnerable internally for like the first time in his life. He he he, you know, is this kid his biological son? And is that true? Is it not? But at the same time, he's fighting uh, to keep control, to keep control of his image. You know, he he's that guy, pun intended. He has the power, whether it's in the department or whether it's in the neighborhood. So exterior from an external point he's trying to regain that and keep that reputation but internally he's going through a whole thing that he's never been through before but he has to keep that close to the vest so that's kind of where you find them uh at the beginning of season two now for you shanley um you know you working closely with malcolm how does what happened to him impact you know your character as far as detective shannon is shannon burke is concerned yeah, so it kind of, that's kind of the beginning of Shannon's uh, journey on, on, as her own little lone wolf. She has the determination to figure out what happened to Howard, despite um, him and many others telling me to just maybe let it go. I, uh, she, Shannon just keeps on asking some questions that may, may or may not get her into trouble. What are you guys the most excited about or think that audience will be the most stunned by throughout the season? We never know which characters are going to die. We're always at the edge of our seats, you know, episode to episode. And the writers do a really good job at keeping us anticipating more. So what do you think viewers will be the most excited or shocked to see this time around? I don't know. I don't you know what? That's up to the viewers. I don't I don't know what they'll be most excited. Uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot of shock um as life is shopping right like i'm not trying to be morbid but it's like none of us could predict the pandemic but we all had to go through it right and so the show is in that way is reflective of, of real life it's like curveballs happen this happens you know and and that's i think the fun part for the viewer is like you just kind of never know which way it's going to come from and for the for the characters it's the same way like you know you read each, every script, like, I hope I don't get shot. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, in your, or in your case, again, so. Yeah, yeah right. I've been through it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I think the same thing. We see a lot of emotional shockers, I think, also this season, um, uh, with a lot of new revelations happening, I think, more internally for characters and uh, emotionally, which is really cool you get to see a lot more depth to a lot of the characters on the show. We know that you guys, um, you know, figure out what the fate of your characters will be, obviously, when you get the script and during table reads and things like that. But behind the scenes, have you guys been able to have any input on your character development by chance? Yeah, I mean, um, it, you know, Sasha Penn is such a great collaborator. And, you know, it's about, you know, he has a vision. And then we have discussions about, well, you know, because our discussions, I'm just talking about me, it's mostly about Howard's backstory and how that informs where Sasha's idea may be. And then sometimes you sort of meet in the middle of, oh, okay, maybe we can pull that off this way because it's not just about Howard. Like what Howard goes through will affect what Burke goes through will affect what Jukebox goes through. It, you know, it's all like Dominant moving effect. together. Yeah, so it's like, it's like, it's the ultimate team play, right? And so, but I think um, Shay said something earlier where that, you know, the, the internal emotions are really what start to 
exude themselves in season two. And I think that's great because that's great character development. It's not just bang, boom, salaciousness. You know, it's, it's like it's more cerebral. But it was a pleasure speaking to you both. I look forward to seeing um, the rest of the season play out. And Omar, I loved you in your in your last movie um, that you played in. But obviously, we only Thank have five you. minutes, so I couldn't talk to you about everything today. But huge, huge fan. <laughs> <laughs>